We'll begin this question by using this formula. The EMF is equal to the angular velocity times the number of turns times the area times the B field multiplied by the sine of omega t. So to begin, we need to find what omega is or our angular velocity. And we were given revolutions per minute, and that is not the standard units. We need to get it to radians per second. So We'll start off with 1500 revolutions per minute and for every one minute we have 60 seconds and for every one revolution we have two pi radians so the, these units of minutes cancel out and the revolution units cancel out leaving us with an angular velocity of 157 radians per second next we are going to start plugging in our values but before we can do that we have to acknowledge that it was asking for the maximum EMF and the EMF will be maximum when the sine th term is at its maximum value. Sine of anything, its limits are either zero or one, so it's constrained within those values. So for this to be maximum, it has to be a value of one. So we don't necessarily need the time because it, it wasn't given in the question. And that may confuse a lot of us, but we just have to remember that when sine of whatever this quantity may be is equal to one, we're going to have the maximum EMF. So now we'll go ahead and plug in the rest of the quantities given, and we'll get a maximum EMF of 0 0.013 volts.